one of the things that skilled writers do is pre-writing. This is something that I that I've learned recently because I'm doing uh, a master's degree in uh, language education so I'm trying to um, research I'm researching how to help non-native English writers so I'm doing quite a lot of research into what writing is what it involves um, processes processes that um, happen while writing and all these things and the thing that keeps coming up well there are many things that keep coming up in the research in the academic papers in the in the academic literature so in the in the books basically but one of one of these things is pre-writing so skilled writers go through a pre-writing phase where they so they don't start writing immediately they don't come up with a topic and start writing about it but they go through this pre-writing phase where they they plan what to what to write about they plan their ideas they gather their ideas information they might do some research depending on the on the topic that they're writing about and um, so they plan come up with ideas generate ideas and also they spend time thinking this is something fascinating I, I can't remember where I read it but there is a quote um, there is a yes a quote from a researcher that says the pre write that uh, writing starts the moment you start thinking about what to write writing is just a mechanical like it's just an activity it's just a mechanical thing a physical thing that you do to transcribe your thoughts from your brain to transfer your thoughts from your brain to the paper or to the to the screen and this is um it's, I don't know to me this is fascinating and I experienced this myself I came up with the idea of writing a book any language you want that, that's the title of my book while running I was running when I came up with the with this idea with with the um, the format of the book I was running so I was because when you run maybe you're a runner maybe you I don't know maybe you do some sort of physical exercise and when the brain is free to think like you you're not focused on something specific I don't know something magic happens and um, some magic happens and also I don't know if it's because of the oxygen that the uh, that the brain gets while you're doing this physical activities I don't know I came up with that idea and I also realized that most of the things that I write no okay not most but many things of uh, many things that I write are ideas that came up while I was running so when I run I start thinking about things and that's the planning that's the pre-writing stage if then I want to transcribe those ideas I want to publish those ideas I need to go through the whole writing process which I'm going to talk about in future videos but um, skilled writers this is to tell you that skilled writers don't start immediately don't start writing immediately they have a variety of strategies they know a variety of strategies that they can employ to to write to make their ideas um, to to bring their ideas into the physical world world sorry to bring their ideas into the physical world through of course through text and um, so w maybe you you do this already 
Maybe you're a skilled writer, maybe you're less skilled, or maybe this is just a reminder that I'm, that I'm, you know, I'm offering. Don't start immediately when you write something. Well, but there are times, well, now you see, I, I didn't plan, I didn't plan this video, I didn't plan what to say, and uh, because I'm, I'm not planning to become a YouTube star, so probably I should plan better what to say, but I like, I like this format of coming up with ideas as I'm going. Writing is the same, writing is the same. When you write, you come up with ideas as you write as well. So it's not that you create a plan, you make a plan, and then you have to stick to that plan. No, it doesn't work like that. As you write, like now, as I'm speaking, new thoughts come to my mind. So I was saying that um, sometimes we don't need to plan. Like, do you ever plan when you write um, a, a WhatsApp message to your friends? Do you plan, like, do you plan what to say when you're replying to an email to, I don't know, to a friend or to someone you know? Maybe not. But if you're writing an email to your boss, or you're writing something, you know, that that needs some that needs some planning, well, then you might do some research, you might um, create an outline, you might do a brainstorming session. So I guess you got you get the point. Skilled writers go through a pre-writing phase. Maybe this is obvious. But um, it's something that not everyone does, especially non-native English writers. There is this paper, um, this um, academic research paper, that shows what skilled writers do and what unskilled writers do. And unskilled writers, they start, they start off immediately like that, like they say, they start writing without a clear plan. And this is why, now that I'm thinking about it, if you're familiar with the IELTS test, IELTS or any other English language tests, your teacher or uh, your tutor might have told you to, I hope, he or she told you to plan what to say in the writing test. Usually you're given um, 40 minutes, an hour, depending on the exam, and they and you have to write an essay, a story, an email. Planning plays a crucial, it's a crucial stage, because if you don't plan, then you don't know, you cannot come up with ideas as you go. I mean, you can, but not in an exam, okay? You need to carefully plan what you're going to include in the, um, in the, in the paper. That's it. This is this is what I wanted to remind you about. Or if this is new to you, maybe you can let me know. Maybe let me know what you do to plan your writing. Like when I plan, when I write, sometimes I do a lot of planning because I need to find information. Like for my dissertation now, oof, I'm doing a lot of planning because every time I need to do some research, I need to organize the ideas, I need to see where one idea can fit with with the argument that I'm making, so there's a lot of planning there. But other times, I I don't plan, and I find that when I don't plan, then I writing takes more time. It takes me more time because I don't know where I'm going really if I don't have a, a not not a fixed plan, but a clear plan, or at least an approximate plan. If I don't have that, I find that the my that my writing takes more time, way more time. Okay, I will talk about these things in future videos, of course, because I want to share what I'm learning. I think this is maybe it's not, but I think this is interesting, especially if you're into writing. 
or if you want to improve your writing, or if you're just generally, I don't know, if you're a writer, maybe. And um, yeah, I will I will share more more of what I'm learning to hoping to to help you. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.